our buddy cussed out my dad at my graduation party. They're right over there. GSP, I don't know why they, baby. Florida State, 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 State Malini's, Pasquale's, Daddy's. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Summer after senior year of high school, I think high school graduations are a pretty typical thing. If your parents, you know, have the opportunity to have them for you, they probably do. <laughs> you know, during the day or evening, you have all your family and, you know, close friends. Those people show up to give you like the more official congratulations and hang out for like the normal, I guess you could say proper celebration during the day. And then as the night goes on and your, you know, family and relatives start to leave, then the after party with just, you know, the high school kids starts. So we are, <laughs> my after party wasn't anything huge. It was, and I probably had like 20, 30 people there. And <laughs> my buddies, my, you know, true friends, my close friends, seven, five, Lenny, beef, Griff, T chains, they were all there during the day as well. So they kind of got a head start on drinking and <laughs> they were tore up. Well, all they had wanted to do all day was a redneck slip and slide. We used to lay down a sheet of plastic and, you know, put the soap and hose water on it. And you slide down the hill. We have like a half acre hill. So you just fly down it to these hay bales and it's, it's a blast. So my buddies are all tore up and they are so drunk. I didn't realize how drunk they were until like later on, but they are so drunk. At one point, Letty, we ran out of soap for the slip and slide and someone dumped a monster on Lenny and he fully believed it was soap. and just went sliding down the slip and slide. Well, after that, we probably did that for like an hour or two. Then you get tired, you know, slide into the mud and shit. So we sprayed ourselves off. And as we're changing back into our regular clothes, seven five just disappears and no one can find him. Well, <laughs> at one point, I think it, I think Beef and Griff were in an argument because Beef accidentally pissed on Griff's leg when they were after they had changed. Beef was so drunk. He was like pissing behind a couple cars and I think he accidentally pissed on Griff. I wasn't there for that, so I can't confirm, but I think that did happen at one point. Anyway, so we're looking for seven five. We're like, my God, he where where is he? You know, and then at one point we just hear Beef like, Oh my god and He's just laying Taking shots by the lake till I can't even breathe. Laying in this hayfield next to my house with a Budweiser kid shirtless. And then when we got him up, his pants were on backwards. They're on totally backwards. <laughs> so my friends were just a mess. And at one point, my neighbor and his buddies, we'll call my neighbor Cody, him and his buddies show up. And, you know, we were all pretty tight. So we're talking. And you know how it is with, you know, especially high school. You just get drunk and start cussing and shit. And you're all tore up. So beef when he gets drunk, especially... I don't know if it's like this anymore, but back in high school it was. That motherfucker, every other word was the was the F word. I mean, fuck this, fuck that. Are they, baby? Boy, say Malini's, Pasquale's, Daddy's. Shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. Fucker, fucker. You know, just that's just how he was when he was trashed. So my dad and some of my close relatives that came in from out of town are staying at the house. So they're still there watching us just be <laughs> trashed in the backyard. And my dad says, you know, Beef, you cuss again. You shut, I'm shutting you down. Beef's like, oh, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, 10 seconds later, Beef's like, fuck, fuck, fuck. You know, just every other word out of his mouth. <laughs> and finally, my dad's like, motherfucker, if you cuss again, you're fucking going inside. And Beef's like, oh, fuck off. Like, just that trash, right? That he has the balls to say that to my dad. And, you know, granted, Beef probably doesn't remember a damn thing from the second half of my graduation party. But what was so funny is, you know, I probably had like, four or five buddies that actually spent the night afterwards and we stayed up god we probably stayed up talking until you know three or four in the morning just you know drunk life talks that's kind of what happens when you're after your summer graduation party after high school and <laughs> so funny dude the next day beef had to get up and leave for florida so poor beef who drank all night, like drank so much to the point that when my mom came down to make sure we were all good, Beef was curled up with one of those Angry Orchards hard ciders in his lap. And my mom like took it out and he was like, wait, I'm not done. <laughs> Beef was so funny when he would get drunk back in the day. But anyway, Beef has to get up at like, mind you, we're up till three or four in the morning. And Beef had to get up and leave at like 7 a.m. for Florida. And, 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 you know, my house was south, so my, his parents could just pick him up on their way. Well, <laughs> we hear his phone buzzing, and we all kind of wake up disoriented. And Beef's like, oh, God, I'm still drunk. <laughs> Gets up, 
goes, all right, I'll see you guys. It <laughs> staggers out the back door. He said he, Beef said he felt horrible for like half the drive <laughs> down to Florida. But it was hilarious. And I would say that that right there just encap- encapsulates like it's so important to have true friends in your life. I, I can't even I can't even begin to tell you. And I'm glad I learned it at a young age is like the people who come, the friends that come to the actual graduation party, like the first part, not just the after party where you can get free drinks with kids from your high school. Like those are the people that are your true friends and truly care about you as a person. And I'm telling you that from experience because I know for a fact, like when I was going around to graduation parties, the actual graduation party, if I went to that, that was someone I actually cared about. And it's no, it's no knock on the other people that it just means that, you know, you weren't genuine friends with them. And I'm saying that because it is important. I mean, I don't, nobody ever wants to admit it, but like the reality of the matter is it is important to have true, true, genuine friends in your life because those people are a reflection of yourself. You know what I mean? So I think it's really important, especially as you get older to have like a good inner circle, at least in my experience, you know, when it comes to the ups and downs of life, because it's a reality of life. Everybody has them having a good group of friends in your life that's there for every step of your life. It's, it's really important in my opinion. And like I said, it's my opinion. It might not be the truth, but it sure seems like that's had a positive impact on my life up to this point. So I would say pick your friends carefully, make sure you got a good inner circle. And <laughs> even the ones that cuss out your parents at your graduation party, they're still good guys. <laughs> they mean well. <laughs> so that's the story. Talks with Tom. Pick your friends wisely. Taking shots by the lake till I can't even breathe no more. See no more. I was riding around town thinking to myself, is it going to get easier? I'll be up in a way of the street and big, but I can't even breathe no more. What's it to me? What can I see? Taking shots by the lake. Thank you.